And now it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Maxa. We're in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup here right next to the San Diego Landings in Point Loma. And we have the man, Captain Art Taylor from The Searcher is here, and we're going to be talking some serious fishing here on Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. It's Ford Truck Month, San Diego. Get after it in the 2022 Ford F-150 and take on the week with an available tailgate work surface to get the party started and available pro power on board to keep it going strong. It's Ford Truck Month at your San Diego County Ford dealers, and there's no better time to get exclusive offers on a Ford F-150. New inventory is arriving daily, and the lots are filling up, so head to your San Diego County Ford dealers today. Now during Ford Truck Month, get 1.9% Ford credit financing for 60 months on a 2022 Ford F-150. Only at your San Diego County Ford dealers. Learn more at buyfordnow.com. Not all buyers will qualify for Ford credit financing. 1.9% APR financing for 60 months at $17.48 per month per $1,000 financed regardless of down payment. Not available on Raptor, Tremor, and Lightning. Residency restrictions apply. Take new retail delivery from an authorized Ford dealer stock by 1-3-2023. See dealer for qualifications and complete details. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. Rancho Leonero was awarded the Certificate of Excellence from TripAdvisor for four straight years. Especially interesting, most hotels are just hotels, and most people stay in the hotel and go do their activities elsewhere. Rancho Leonero, of course, provides fishing, diving, all activities, all meals, your whole vacation. So the fact that we're so highly rated, we're very proud of it. From picking you up at the airport to dropping you off, literally everything is a turnkey from there. We make it as easy as we can for you at the ranch. From your meals to whether you're going to go fishing or diving or just hanging out by the pool. When you're coming to Ranch Lanero, you are coming to John Ireland's home. I guarantee the best fishing vacation experience in all of Baja. It's unique. There's nowhere that I could think of to get the same experience that you get at Ranch Lanero. Our new reservation phone number is 800-646-2252. 646-Baja. And RanchLanero.com. It's really unique. It is. We're very proud of it. Saturday, November 5th, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego, and it's our largest sale ever. Plenty of seminars by saltwater experts and over 20 reps from tackle manufacturers like Accurate, Aftco, Calstar, Gamakatsu, and Costa. Don't miss all the great seminars, the huge raffle to benefit Rollo kids, the popular casting contest, and of course, the huge sale. For the best ever tackle bargains, check out Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday, November 5th. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup, boy. Today's going to be a great show, one of my most favorite shows, having Captain Art in here. And, boy, what timely, you know, good times, too, with all this good fishing that's been going on. This is going to be a great show today, man. Hey, good morning, Captain Art. Good morning. Hey, great to have you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, great to have you uh, in the uh, world headquarters here. And uh, Searcher's having a killer trip right now, right? Yeah, Mike had some pretty good fishing on the ridge, you know. It's all about timing. Yeah. It's all about timing. Yeah, yeah. And, and is this one of those ultra limited load trips where it everybody is. gets their own staterooms? Fourteen passengers, yeah. <laughs> oh, that just sounds so cool. Yeah, it's uh yeah, they're they're fun trips. They're yeah. fun trips. It was funny when we were loading the shogun, you were loading the searcher at the same time and it's like somebody said, Oh yeah, we only have fourteen passengers on the on the trip and I was like, Well, what's the deal? I mean everything's sold out and it's like, oh, it's the ultra limited. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. right. But uh, that they're that's, popular. They're yeah. I mean, that was a brilliant thing that you came up with there when that happened because all of a sudden people are willing to pay the extra money to kind of have yeah. a lighter load and oh, and totally. privacy and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So you're sticking with them for 2023. 
Yeah, there's uh, basically the same schedule there. I think there's there's multiple trips there that are 14 passengers, yeah. Are they already sold out? Um, most of them are. There's, <laughs> no kidding. there's That's a crazy. couple of spots here and there, yeah. Good for you. That's great. Most you, people that do that trip, do they just rebook as soon as they jump off? You know, pretty much. Off the boat, hey, hey, Aaron, hey, Celia, here's my, here's my deposit. Yeah, absolutely. I want my same room. I want my same trip. Mm-hmm. Let me back on. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, for sure. So tell us about the searcher, and, and you and Celia do such a great job. Uh, on that operation. Tell us about the searcher for uh, and what kind of trips you do and all that for those of our listeners that may be new and not have heard about the searcher. Uh, 95 feet, uh, air conditioned cabins, you know, RSW system to preserve your catch, um, air conditioned galley, you know, all the latest uh, fish finding stuff in the bridge. Um, and uh you know it's it's wooden construction the hull is mahogany and the superstructure is plywood and fiberglass and so uh one of the the last few wooden boats that are doing long range trips and what's the advantage i know but what is the advantage in your eyes of, of the wooden boat over the metal boats uh, i think it's a little softer you know the metal boats are fantastic boats there's a bunch of them in the fleet bill pool you know built a bunch of them and they're 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 great boats um but they're they're rigid they're a little bit more rigid so it's uh i guess you know people say it's a little bit softer ride yeah. it, you know it's hard to equate until you get Quieter. out there a little quieter, yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. It's kind of like a nice, easy, little, yeah, little pillowy, yeah, yeah it's pillowy. So nice. yeah. And it's you know it's low to the water, so um, you know people point that out all the time. It's mm-hmm. you know it's nice to be lower to the water, and and uh, it's a great boat. It's a tank. It's really constructed well, mm-hmm. and um, and and hats off to you and your crew because you maintain it impeccably. Well, you know, we have a lot of pride in that boat. And yeah. You know, we have to take care of it. It's served us well, so we need to reciprocate and take care of it as best we can and make sure that uh, it's maintained. And so that's what we do, and we spend a lot of money on it. Yeah. I always like hearing the stories of when you, you know, stories and seeing the photos when you guys maybe at the yard and you inspect fasteners or inspect, you know, areas that haven't been looked at in x amount of time and just you know even from the original construction of the boat things that are just still perfect it's just it's yeah. such a cool testament to how things were made and how you and like pete said how you guys keep things up i i just love seeing stuff like that like here's a fastener that's x number of years old and you could certainly put it right back into the boat and it would be just fine yeah we had that experience a couple of years ago we were out of the water and the coast guard every five years you know, they pick an area where they want to inspect the fasteners. And so we took fasteners out that were f- over 50 years old, and you know, I wouldn't have had a problem putting them right back in. Isn't that, that crazy? Was pretty crazy. I yeah. love that. That's cool. Yeah. 50-year-old fastener. It's been yeah, in the silicon, water. It's been silicon in the water. bronze, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it was just like, but you replaced them. Absolutely. Put brand new ones in, yeah. <laughs> like, like, is that like the whole boat, or you replaced the whole boat? No. Just... Just uh, you know, the Coast Guard, like I said, every five years they pick Just an to area, pick a spot, yeah, and say, okay, I want a fastener from here, I want a fastener from there, I want a fastener from there, and and, and so they, you know, it's the fasteners that go through the planking and into the frames, the frames inside, and so, uh, you know, they're four inch number sixteens, and um, so we take those fasteners out. The Coast Guard looks at them and goes, wow, look at that, that's great. <laughs> And what are they looking for? Just pitting and, 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 and um, corrosion? They're looking for corrosion, yeah. yeah. They're looking for, you know, um, the, if the screw is is gone, you know, if three-quarters of the screw is gone, then, you know, they might pick another one in, in the same area. And, um, you know, maybe there is an area that needs to be refastened. Mm-hmm. But that's never happened since you've owned the boat. No, but, you know, we've done quite a bit of work, yeah. um, especially up in the bow compartment and and put a bunch of new frames in and refastened and so there's you know the through the process we've done a lot of refastening yeah Yeah. well and 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 not the things you can't see are very well maintained but the things you can see on the boat are also incredibly well maintained 
Yeah, like I say, you know, that that boat has really served us well, and so we want to make sure that it's up to standards, and so we take a lot of pride in, in the boat, and so we work hard at making sure it, it looks good. So how, size up this season. How is this season for you? Who Long. <laughs> yeah. Long. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's well still going on, too. Yeah. Right? yeah, do you remember back in March? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We started in May this year, and, you know, I mean, it's, you know how those bluefin are. It's a timing thing, and there's weather to, con- you know, to contend with and that sort of thing. But there's just so much fish around. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. the And variety. You know, we had phenomenal yellowtail fishing on kelps. And, and then, the, of course, the bluefin fishing is world class. It's just incredible that you have an opportunity in a right in our backyard to catch a 200 pounder it's crazy you know it's it's very very encouraging for the future to see that much fish around it's just you know and we're not talking an isolated area you know at times there can be boats that are a hundred miles apart seeing the same sort of sign and it's it's just uh, really, really phenomenal how much fish is around and, and right in our backyard. Yeah. So it, rad. It, it's amazing. And so the other thing that's happened this year is exhaustion for the crews, right? Because it's like 24 hours a day fishing, right? It's a young person's game now. Let's put it that yeah, way. I can relate. Us, us older guys, uh, it takes a lot out of us. And um, so... You know, we've hired extra people, and we rotate the crews. You know, nobody works more than 13 or 14 days in a row, if that. And that's what we've done with Mike so that he stays fresh. He mm-hmm. runs the boat for a couple of weeks, and then I'll run it for a week. And and so every couple of weeks, he's getting a, close to a week off, and I'm trying to keep everybody fresh and keep the crew rotated in and out and so that uh you know that whole exhaustion thing doesn't um doesn't occur you yeah know? for sure yeah uh mike captain mike amazing captain he is doing such a phenomenal job yeah. he uh he has grown into the into the position and uh just keeps getting better he he is so passionate about fishing and um works extremely hard and uh He's just doing a great job. We're really, really lucky to have him. Super nice guy, too. Absolutely, yeah. So, yeah. so good with people like that. Yeah. Yep. Todd has got one of those personalities that's just very easy to, I don't know, you just you very quickly feel like you've been friends for a long time and, you know, very easy to approach. And uh, I just, I really like his style. He's he's an intense fisherman, but very much not an intense personality. You know what I mean? He's so easygoing in terms of just a friendly, fun guy to talk to. And it makes it very comfortable and easy to, you know, you could be intimidated if some guy's super hardcore. And Mike's have a guy very, you know, you could very confidently and easily be like, hey, man, you know, is this drag okay? Is this line wing? What do you think about this? And he's just super friendly. I yeah. really, really like him. Yeah, yeah he's doing a great job. The whole crew, our whole crew this year has yeah, just been, crew. been phenomenal. Sean Allen, uh, a.k.a. Monk. He is just uh, uh, he's an awesome he's a he's an awesome captain and uh, you know he's you know an expert in tackle and fishing and is passionate about it so it's been great to have him you know this is his second year and we're looking forward to having him for several more years. That's cool. There's nothing like long range fishing. But you guys do a variety of trips, anywhere from a day and a half let's talk hookup trip, which we did a couple of great ones this summer. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Really fantastic. To, to eight days. To eight days, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And everything in between. Yeah. 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 And it's, you know, throughout the schedule at various times of the year. And so, um, yeah, you know, two and a half, three day trips. Three day trips are kind of, uh, you know, the perfect trip for us. And, and uh, we have limited load trips and trips that take 27 passengers and, you know, to make it a little bit more affordable. And so, yeah, there's the whole spectrum of various trips that are out there for you. Yeah. So if you if you wanted to get on a trip, um, 
and that you see it's full. You guys do carry a wait list, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah is that yeah. something you can do online? Because I know we share yes. that great uh, Chad as our, our webmaster. And yeah, you can you can get on a wait list you. online. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. I didn't know. And, so, yeah. And, so, yeah. And, and we'll, or call the office and they'll the put office. you put you on the wait list. And you know, it's worked out. You know, things stuff happens. People have to cancel. People have to. You know, they get a you know, uh, graduation that they sure. can't make, miss or whatever the case may be. There's plenty of reasons Things out pop there. pop up, yes. especially when you have to plan this far ahead of the game. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. so, you know, we've, you know, we've uh, done well when there's a cancellation to uh, get people that are on the wait list booked. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and they'll give you an idea of how long the wait list is. So Absolutely, yeah. 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 yeah, you call up and say, "Hey, I want to, uh, want to get on the wait list for trip thirty six, and either Celia or Aaron will say, "Okay, you're number five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Well, as, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for you today. Art is a wealth of knowledge. You've been doing this for how long? Over 50 years. Over 50 <laughs> years, yeah. Yeah, so he's been around the block here time, a time or two, as they say. Yeah. Year 40 on the searcher this year. Year 40. Was year 40. So yeah. Wow. I love Unbelievable. It. It's going to be a great show. So much cool stuff to talk about. So much great fishing going on. And we want to hear from you. If you want to be a part of Let's Talk Hookup this morning, give us a call at 213-432-1090. Again, 213-432-1090. 432-1090. That's the call-in number. Literally only one phone line open right now. We haven't even started taking phone calls, and just about every line's packed. It's going to be a busy day with Art, but plenty of opportunity to get you through. That's 213-432-1090. Or you can text the show. Text the show option, hugely popular here on Let's Talk Hookup. The only way you can send in your text to Captain Art is through the Let's Talk Hookup app. It's a free download. Whether you have an Android, an iPhone, whatever you want, go to your app's location, the Google Play Store, the App Store, uh, just search Let's Talk Hookup. It's a free download. It's a great way to listen to show archives, great way to listen to the show when you're on the road, on the go, and the only way you can text in your questions to Captain Art. Make sure when you do send a text in that you include your contact information. It doesn't work like a normal text message. Uh, you have to make sure to include your contact info because if you're the winner of the big prize at the end of the show today, we need to be able to get a hold of you. And, man, what a prize it is today. So at the end of today's show, we're going to draw one potential winner from all of our phone callers that make it on the air. We're going to draw another potential winner from all of our text messages that get read on the air. Then Captain Art's going to flip a coin at the end of the show. That's going to designate whether our winner winner is from the caller side or the texture side and again speaking of a killer prize a brand new pair of costa del mar sunglasses you're going to get a gift certificate and you can order any pair at costa del mar.com up to 300 dollars in value if you buy a lesser expensive pair of glasses you can buy some of that great costa gear shirts and coolers and all the sunglass accessories uh it's just an awesome awesome prize 300 dollars in costa coming your way again Give us a call, 213-432-1090. Shoot us a text on that Let's Talk Hookup app. And when we come back, we're going to be taking your phone calls. Lots of great info coming your way. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. This is Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. This is Pete, and I hear it all the time. That Jim and Mary at Poway Valley Collision are amazing. I took my car to Poway Valley Collision, mentioned Let's Talk Hookup, and they gave us VIP treatment, fixed our car, and even gave gave us a special price. Believe me when I say Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. At some point, your car will need a body repair, and I'm confident in saying it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. Our listeners can save hundreds of dollars on your next car or truck repair. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, MetLife, Wawanisa, and more. All you do is call Jim, Mary, or any of their team members, and they do all the rest. No hassles, just top-notch work and VIP treatment. When you take your car or truck to Poway Valley Collision, the job and experience will be top-notch. Get it fixed right at Poway Valley Collision. 14211 Garden Road in Poway. Check PowayValleyCollision.com. 
When you want to catch big bluefin tuna, you need Shimano. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle professionals. The Shimano Beastmaster is the pinnacle of electric reels. Shimano's Gigamax motor packs a winding strength up to 250 pounds, ideal for kite fishing and more. Shimano's butterfly flat fall jigs are irresistible to bluefin tuna because they stay in the strike zone longer. Shimano makes a complete line of butterfly flat fall jigs to target your favorite game fish. For all your Shimano needs, visit us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet. Fisherman's Landing offers half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day trips on the Liberty. Many trips can be easily booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Hayden Lane here from Fast Lane Kayaking, and I gotta tell you about all the rad new stuff we have in the shop. Like the fully updated new line of Hobie Inflatable Kayaks, the iTrek series. Hobie took the best selling i11S and made it even better, then added new models like it, like the new iTrek 9 that weighs just 37 pounds, fully rigged, packs into a small bag with wheels, and fits just about anywhere. And on the water, this thing performs featuring a super wide and flat hole shape that is stable and an elevated beach chair style seat that is comfortable. Or the all new Hobie Mirage Lynx. Inspired by the shape of the inflatable kayaks, Hobie made a durable and ultralight hard top model. It's the missing link. It looks like a hybrid of a stand-up paddleboard and a kayak. And the best part, at just 45 pounds, the hole weighs about half as much as similar sized kayaks. And it's stackable. Pile them up on your roof rack or your truck bed. You gotta see this thing, stop by the shop, right on the water in Dana Landing Marina in Mission Bay. Or check us out online at FastLaneKayaking.com. Season long-range fishermen know that the Red Rooster 3 is the finest fishing vessels in terms of technology, design, speed, comfort, and safety. This 105-foot sport fishing yacht meets every demand for comfort while delivering an unforgettable fishing vacation. Captain Andy Cates and crew are experienced, friendly, and sincere in their desire to help you have the trip of a lifetime. Book a trip on the Red Rooster 3 and you'll be back. Trips go fast. So check RedRooster3.com or call Lee Palm Sport Fisheries at 619-224-3857. Saturday, November 5th is Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Seminars by saltwater experts, great deals on tackle, top tackle reps like AFTCO with Psycho Pro fluorocarbon, and incredible deals on AFTCO clothing. Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday, November 5th. Welcome, Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Man, no surprise, phone lines are absolutely packed up for Captain Art. Again, uh, when one drops off and you want to get through, it's 213-432-1090. We just heard Doug talking about Tackle Day one week from today. Ooh, crazy, Rick, man. are you ready? Uh, we'll be ready. Yeah, we will, <laughs> definitely, ready. we will definitely be ready. Yeah. It's a big undertaking. It's our biggest thing of the oh, year. Yeah. It's our biggest sale, and we put a tremendous amount of effort into it. And uh, in a very good way, the fishing season has been rolling along so good this year that it's harder to find time to just focus on doing it. You know, we all have, we kind of divide and conquer. Everybody has their tasks. And in terms of just, you know, getting things priced and getting things put away, and we, we hold a lot of very special stuff back for Tackle Day, and we make a lot of stuff special for it. And so that's kind of what, what everybody's really grinding on is getting all their stuff ready for the big for the big day. Yeah, so... Doug Curran's on tomorrow, yeah. so we'll talk a lot about deals. But can you sneak in one deal for us? Can you just kind of tease us a little bit before tomorrow? I don't want to take the thunder away. Okay, I do. I, I'll give you a really, really good one. And um, it's our it's our jigs, you know. So we do um, all of our jigs uh, are buy two, get one free. JRI is going to have a very special promotion at the show. So if you buy your two jigs, you get your one free. JRI is going to do a seminar. So Jerry from JRI Jigs and Danny Wade, you know, surface iron expert, they're going to be doing a seminar, and they're also going to introduce a brand new surface iron. They did a few years ago a lure called a DW1. It right. was the Danny Wade surface iron, and it's like a it's a smaller jig, like a great uh, skinny profile, something you could cast with a Tranks 400, but still, you know, great yellowtail surface iron. They're going to be introducing the DW2 um, at Tackle Day, and if you buy 
uh, four um, JRIs, not only are you going to now get your two freebies from us, they're going to give you a third freebie of the brand new DW2. So basically, if you buy four, you're going to walk away with seven. Oh, And you're going to get a chance to hear from Jerry and from Danny Wade all about fishing and jigs and how they make them. They're going to do like a cool seminar that's both question and answer and some cool information. So yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Buy two, get one free on any lure we sell. But on JRI, if you buy four, you're going to walk away with seven. Holy mackerel. Yeah. That's a good one. And that's... That wasn't the big one. I'm not going to steal no, Doug's okay, thunder. No, 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 no. But, but just, let, so me that's just, just... L- let me just tease it this way. If you want to buy some fluorocarbon for the upcoming year, wait to hear what Doug has to say okay. tomorrow, and I'll just leave it at that. All right, all right. So um, that's one week from the day, yeah. Tackle Day. It starts with a live broadcast at Tackle Day of Let's Talk Hookup. Our Rick and I will be there doing the live broadcast. And uh, I can tell you this. We're not doing a lot of live broadcasts anymore. Yeah. So this is a, a, a probably a rare occasion coming up to see us uh, live tomorrow. Uh, one week from the day. So we'll be there right in front of Fisherman's Landing doing the live broadcast. Kicks off. What time does the actual sale start? So we always say that the sale kicks off as soon as we get everything ready. Our official hours are 9 o'clock until 3 o'clock. But really, it starts with Let's Talk Hook Up at 7. And oftentimes, they're ready to go a little before 9. So when the doors open at Fisherman's Landing, which is at 6 o'clock, everything that's inside the tackle store is available at sale. The outside booth is where a lot of like the crazy closeouts, fifty uh, percent offs. You know, a lot of the mega stuff is in the outside booth. That'll happen as soon as they're ready. Usually around nine o'clock, but a savvy guy would have himself at least in line be by ready. eight to be I, ready. I, I have seen it open early. Yeah, yeah, a couple, <laughs> more more yeah. than once. So. Yeah. So, but so be there. So we'll have a variety of great uh, people. Uh, That's you know, the, it's kind of a variety show because there's a lot of people there hanging out. That's and, always the uh, fun one. Yeah. Is yeah, we just grab guys that are setting up, and it might be one of the reps that's setting up the Costa booth or. Yeah. You you know, Bill Cavanaugh uh, does our first seminar every year, and you know, a lot of times he's there early for a seminar. We'll get to grab Bill, and we'll talk about fishing, yeah. and it's just a fun, really I know fun Bill event. Bill Batson from right? Batson Enterprises is the first time there at, at Tackle Day. He's going to come and talk on the show exactly. about his. He's going to be doing some several de- demonstrations, and of course, uh, of course, uh, who's will be there? We can oh, talk totally. coastal sunglasses, and I mean, there's 25 different vendors and booths and stuff like that. So there's going to be a lot there. Pretty much every major saltwater place. Player is yeah. there with a booth yeah. showing their latest, their Damakatsu greatest. Damakatsu will be there, AFCO will be there, you Shimano will be there, Power Pro. I mean, it's just like all the best of the best. It's a big one. And we yeah. got a lot of cool free stuff, too, like uh, the Iserline Knot Tying Contest. It's ah. totally free. You don't have to spend any money, and whoever ties the biggest knot gets a brand new two-speed reel for free at the end of the event. And then we're doing a thing. If you feel like your knot has the chops to win, you don't get to do it afterwards. you got to do it before. You throw $10 as a donation to Friends of Rollo, and if your knot wins, then we'll fill it full of spectra at, of your choice, whatever you want, your size, your hollow, solid, colored, whatever you want. So if you throw 10 bucks to Rollo before you tie your knot and you're the big winner, you'll get free Spectra on your free two-speed reel. Wow. We have the Trank Surface Iron Casting Contest, casting longest thing. cast gets a $500 And, and from the Rollo, Rollo booth, too, right? Totally. Uh, they're going to be spin the wheel, I believe. Yeah, I know that they're doing a big promotion. I don't know if it's pick a box or spin the wheel spin, or what yeah, they do. It, it'll be, it'll be we'll something find out. rad for Rollo, no doubt. We'll, we'll talk more about it tomorrow. Doug Kern uh, from Fisherman's Landing Tackle will be here tomorrow. It's going to be fun. So that's going to be a big day. Well, let's, phones are packed. They want to talk to Captain Art Taylor, so let's jump in. Sounds it. good to me, man. We're going to start with Steve. He's calling us from Fairfield this morning. Steve, good morning. Thanks for getting us started here on Let's Talk Hookup. Uh, you're welcome. Good morning, all. I, uh, Captain Art, I thank you and your crew for uh, making my first ever bluefin trip uh, uh, really memorable. In fact, it was so great, I've already booked my second trip. Thank, and, thank you very much, Steve. Uh, Yep, you're welcome, sir. Uh, upon reflection, I re- recall that you, the trip that I got my biters when my line was vertical, and never did I get a bite when I was scoped. And I'm, I'm new to this business and uh, you know, bluefin tuna fishing at night, jigging. And what, what's an angler to do to stop that or improve? Well, you wind <laughs> up and start over vertical. again. That's uh, one thing, you know, if you get uh, too much line out there and if it's windy or something like that, then your, you know, your line is going to end up uh, further up in the water column. So if you wind in and start over and hopefully you have the proper weight lure so that you can get vertical. And a lot of times, 
you know, we get over the top of a school and stop on it. And, you know, the first few guys that get down to depth get get bites and a lot of times that school is you know it's swimming around so it's gone and so the guys that are on top of it and in the water first uh get bites when they're vertical um at whatever depth the you know the fish are at so uh if your line ends up way out away from the boat then you got to wind up and start over again that that would be the thing to do all right, there you go. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Appreciate that. Great text here from Kurt in Vista, and uh, it's longer than what I normally would read. <laughs> I had that one too. Yeah, I thought it was good. Yeah, I but it's great. but it's a great text, so I'm going to read it. Uh, uh, and and Kurt, thanks for, for that too. Big thank you. Good morning, you guys. Just wanted to give you a huge shout out to Art and Celia for providing such a stellar operation from San Diego Fishing Fleet. I've been fishing with them for on and off for over 35 years, and have never been disappointed. Pete, Rick, and Corey, you guys always get my heart pumping. Thank you all for keeping this industry alive. Art, coming on your November 7th trip, and I'm bringing eight setups from 20 to 130, plus trolling outfit. I feel like too much for an eight-day, or given the current conditions, will I be needing that? Thank you in advance. I don't think you're going to need eight outfits, to be honest. You know, you could have six, and you're doing fine, and... Of course, you got all the terminal tackle that goes with eight outfits too. So, um, on an eight day, you're going to be mostly fishing down the ridge, right? Well, yeah, primarily you're either going to the rocks or the ridge, and so you know you're fishing tuna on the ridge. That so you're looks, likely not going to go after the the, the bluefin. Uh, 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 well, right. you know, I, <laughs> you know, there's a possibility of that, but most likely we're going to the ridge and or the rocks and. You know, that's fly lining 40 pounds, so that's one outfit. Mm-hmm. And then you're, um, you're fishing possibly a dropper loop on the bottom, so there's another outfit with 80 pound and fishing the bottom. And then you're, you have a 50 or 60 pound outfit for trying a Wahoo bomb or an artificial lure if there's Wahoo available. So there's three outfits. And, um, you know, sometimes there's small tuna available that you're going to release, but a 20 or 25 pound outfit to have a little fun with so there's four outfits uh the boat has a trolling outfit so you don't have to bring a trolling outfit if you want to bring your lure we'll put your lure on our on our trolling outfit so you know you could you could safely bring six outfits and and have all the bases covered yeah the, um i can tell you from my experience on the shogun but we've had a variety of fishing we went all over the place I didn't bring enough. Um, I wish I, I, I kept thinking, God, I wish I would have brought that, or I wish I would have brought that, you know? Mm-hmm. Just I, 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 because of the variety of fishing that is available right now, it's True. just, there's I'm, everything from 130 to 20, like you say. And yeah. so, and then I, you know, some cast better than others, some fly line better than others, that kind of thing. You gotta have a surface iron outfit. Yeah, yeah, I mean. surface <laughs> iron. I had, I had a surface <laughs> iron outfit, had a lot of fun with that. That was cool. And, um, but, I, I, geez, I, and there were some guys that brought a lot of tackle. I mean, yeah. there was, there, there's a lot of tackle. But you can say it, Stunky. I mean, you, you well, Stunky, yeah, 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 yeah. You can call the guy no, out, for God's sake. Yeah. No, I'm, just, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I think there were guys that even had more than Stunky. I don't know. But, uh, but anyway, um, but... It, I, I I can tell you from personal standpoint, I wish I would have brought more. There you I, are. Just I, I'm just saying. Okay? Yeah. I know. Okay. I know you guys don't like like everybody loading up on tackle, but it. Yeah. The there's only is, so much space. Yeah, know? that's the problem, yeah. and we ran out of space. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah it so, happens. Yeah, yeah. It's overkill sometimes. And yeah. 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 But uh, you know. It's just like I, I feel like you I, bought it. You yeah, want to use minute, it. I feel like I'm not even allowed to comment on this you one. Are, well, well, of course, you want to tackle stores, <laughs> yeah, exactly. so just buy, buy more. Yeah, bring yeah. more and buy more. How right? many are you bringing? You just need one more. That's yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. But anyway, good text there. Thanks yeah, a lot. Great, and, Kurt. Uh, have, have fun on your trip. Oh, I know man. you will. What a great time of the year, right? Eight day yeah. trip. Two eight, eight, eight day trip. In November, I, I think oh is just my favorite. You can. Everything that we fish for is available to you. I mean, whether it's surface fishing, bottom fishing, tuna fishing, dorado fishing, and you always hear about a fun stop where they fished grouper, or there was a bunch of marlin on the ridge, or there was yeah. maybe it's big tuna, and maybe the last day you, like Pete said, you come back up and fish Clemenia, and you catch a 200-pounder. Like, it's just, 
it seems like everything that we fish for has the potential of being available on an 80. That doesn't mean the stars align and timing, like you were saying, doesn't happen, but everything that you could catch on our coast is available on an eight-day trip. That's, um, you know, the wonderful thing about fishing the ridge is that when you put something out there, a bait out there, you don't know what you're going to catch. Yeah, you know? I mean, there's wahoo, yellowfin tuna, yellowtail, dorado, grouper, pargo. Some guys I yeah. saw caught some pargo. You know, so that's that's a great thing about ridge fishing is yeah. the variety. The variety, yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, let's find out what's biting in the Baja. You got that, man. Hey, this one sponsored by Anza Knives. Today, can crafting knives in the USA for over three decades. Check out the Fish Pro Series and other custom fillet knives from Anza Knives. They're made from high carbon steel, which holds a great edge, and they're easy to sharpen. Anza Knives are the finest fillet knives ever produced. Anza also offers knives for military, law enforcement, and hunting. Check AnzaKnives.com and get more info on the Fish Pro Series available right now at Fisherman's Processing. Speaking of the Baja, we're going to talk to the man, the cast man, Richard Castaneda from Cast Tours. Buenos dias, Cass. Hey, buenos dias, Ricky. Hey, you're talking about the Anza Knives. Uh, remember that one I won on the show? It's kind of a, got a curved blade to it. Yeah. I guess it's mostly a fillet. I guess it's mostly a fillet knife. But uh, I'll tell you, I had some uh, tuna that I took out of the freezer and uh, sashimied it. And I'll tell you, that thing was cutting really thin, clean uh, pieces. I, I was amazed that it worked so well. I just figured it was a fillet knife, but uh, it uh, it's a heck of a blade, let me tell you. And it really keeps that uh, keeps that uh, sharpness on. Oh on the edge yeah, there. no, they're amazing. Yeah, that's the thing is they hold the edge so well too. That uh, high carbon steel, yep. best stuff available. Yeah, easy to sharpen. That's my that's my deal. I'm, yeah, yeah. My, my skills lack in the knife sharpening yeah. game, and I like that thing because. Once you once you get it once if you can keep it sharp with the steel, mm-hmm. it, I, my skills lack when it comes to getting to a stone. They just do. So if I can keep it sharp, like I use it, I hit it with the steel, and then put the thing away. I'm good. I'm good with that thing for so long before it actually needs to be dealt with. For sure, for sure. So what's going on in the Baja, Cast Man? Well, Pete, I just got off the phone a little while ago with uh, Daddy Talamantes down there in Loreto, and I guess the water cooled enough that. Uh, the Dorado decided to uh, to flee the area, uh, but with good news on that is that the yellowtail are moving back in along with the Cabrilla and the Pargo, uh, who like the cooler water. And uh, so the looks like it's going to be a really, really good yellowtail uh, season this year, this winter and spring. And um, so those, those fish are now coming in, and uh, they're doing pretty well on the catches there. Uh, moving on down to uh, San Jose del Cabo, uh, I'll be leaving for uh, there tomorrow morning, and it's our annual Wahoo Rumble, and uh, I've got some great news there from Baja Bob there at La Playita. Uh, emailed me uh, yesterday that uh, the fishing has really turned on, uh, not only for the Wahoo, which we target down there, but uh, the tuna have come in, and some big boys rolling around at the Gordo. There have been some reports of 150, 200-pound tuna there, but up inside there at the I'm in Bank in San Luis. Those uh, those, bite, those banks just out on the corner from Punta Gordo, um, showing some really really nice tuna there. Uh, occasional 100 pounder, but there's uh, quite a few 40s to 60s there, and uh, so it looks like uh, we're going to have a very very successful Oahu Rumble uh, this this coming week. We fish uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and come home on Thursday. So. <laughs> It's it's happening, man. I tell you, it's uh, it's going to be a really good fall season there in uh, that southern part of Baja. And uh, anybody who wants to book a trip down into southern Baja, mainland Mexico, Central America, South America, give us a call at Cast Tours at eight hundred five nine three sixty five ten, and I'll talk to you boys next Saturday with a fresh report from San Jose del Cabo. Good luck. Have fun. Great report, Cass. We'll, we'll do. Take care, boys. All right, appreciate that very much. Uh, phones are packed. I know everybody's excited to talk to the boys. Let's jump right back into them. This time we're going to talk to Don. He's calling us from Woodland Hills. Good morning, Don. Thanks for joining us on Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, guys. Good morning, Captain Art. Great speaking with you. Um, I think nice you guys have said you, it all about the <laughs> – it's, it's, good, it's good to be on. Hey, um, I – I just want to add on to uh, what's been said uh, about the searcher. It's to me, it's like family. 
You know, um, I'm just thinking that every time I go on the searcher, the guys always remember my name. It's it's always like talking to your best friend. It's always like fishing with your best friend. And I had a chance to spend, I think it was 13 days this year, and I've got 16 days next year already mm-hmm. scheduled on the searcher, wow, so I'm, right. I'm really looking forward to it. But Thank you very much the boat's for the comfortable, time, Mark, the food's Don. great. It's a pleasure having you aboard. Yep. And the other thing is I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about Celia and Aaron in the office. Those those two do do the boat proud when they get you ready for the trip and communicate anything that you need to know and handle any problems you might have. Plus, being able to do a payment option is another great benefit of being part of Team Searcher. Thank you, Don. That it all starts there with those girls, and they they do a great job. I say the same thing. How do, I don't I don't get how Erin is always happy. We've said it before. She's always happy. Like no matter <laughs> what, early check in on a Monday. Let she's just like always like. How is somebody always in a good mood, man? She's really really fun. We really like her, and she's got such a good personality and just a very a very pleasant fun person to be around. And when you go to sign in, and you're hyped and you're excited for your trip. It's just rad to be greeted by such a great great team with her and Celia. Like you guys, she's have, a great people person. Yeah, you guys have such a just an awesome thing going. I, I'm with Don, man. Total family, totally fa- total family feel. So, what trips are how many? What day trips are you on, Don? On the four day trip with Iserline in August, and it's a repeat with some friends from Washington State. They're hooked on Searcher too, and they're coming down and bringing some additional friends. And then I'm going to do an eight day um, at the end of the season. Nice. And I'm picking one other trip uh, before they sell out uh, with some other buddies. We want to do a two- or a three-day trip sometime mid-July, early August. Nice. That's cool, man. There's a couple trips that hey, have I got a, a few quick... spots available. Not too many, though. Not too many. <laughs> Art, I have a quick question for you. Quick question for Go you. Go ahead. ahead. Recommendation for a Wahoo outfit, Rod Reel. Now, I'm going to pass that on to Rick. He's the man. Um, okay. I, for, for me, I like a seven foot rod. I, um, I like a seven foot rod and a Trinidad 20. If I was going to make a pick of anything of my favorite outfit that has changed for me a little bit over the years. I used to like a bigger reel when Trinidad had the 40. I was a big fan of that. Um, but I like a Trinidad 20. It fits in my hands really well. I think it's got a lot of torque. It's pretty fast, but for a fast reel, it still has, um, it still has a lot of power and a lot of torque. Um, in, in a perfect world, my favorite rod is a Calstar 7400 Heavy, which is, uh, the, a very popular rod from Calstar is the 700H. That's like one of their most that's popular. That's the one. That's my Wahoo. Yeah. yeah. So 7400H, slightly lesser known, but, and very similar, but it's just a faster version oh. and faster meaning that the, it, it quits bending a little bit quicker. So like, uh, on a, on your 700H, the, you know, the first part of the rod bends and it, maybe when it gets back to like the fourth or fifth guide, that's when it really shuts down. The 7400H bends to like the third or fourth guide before it shuts down. So you just get into the backbone a little bit quicker with the Wahoo being real bony and kind of a hard mouth. When you get a bite and you wind into that thing, you don't have too much of the rod collapsing. It kind of gets into them fast. It, it doesn't make the greatest rod for like you know, pulling on a tuna for a long time because it's so fast. But for a Wahoo where the fight's not a super long extended amount of time, uh, that that faster taper and quicker into backbone helps drive the hook into that into that mouth a little. So better. why wouldn't it make a good tuna rod? It's just harder to hang on to. I mean, to. so you're saying the 700 would be better for it, tuna than the 774. Yeah. So when you're holding on to something and the rod is much faster, this is when you're holding it, not when yeah. you're putting on the rail, but uh, when the bend shuts off farther away from you, imagine holding a dumbbell. Like if you hold it, you know, if you're holding it with both your arms and you hold it right to your chest, maybe you can do that for 20 minutes. But if you hold that with your arms extended out all the way, in 20 seconds you start to, you know, you start to feel it. And it's the same thing with where the bend shuts off in your rod the closer that that is to you the easier it is to hang on to okay. but that also means that more of the rod is collapsing so yeah you know not as much power as like the 700 uh it, it's just yeah it's just where different the where, where the bend stops like where you're holding that power changes you gotcha. know and with the okay. farther away that that is from you the harder it is to hang on to but 
you know, you're putting more pressure on the fish. That also changes when you put it on the rail because now you're not having to hang on to that. So when you have a faster taper rod on the rail, more of the, the fish is having to pull against more of the backbone. So okay. there's ups and downs to it, but that's my favorite, 7400H. So, so would that 7400H um, cast a bomb better, a Wahoo bomb better? Uh, because it, it has, Not, not it necessarily. Not I mean, necessarily. honestly, a, a, a slightly slower taper rod is really going to cast a little better because when you're making the cast, more of the rod is bending. Mm-hmm. Um, so you have more of the blank pushing the lure forward. But in the case, again, of a Wahoo bomb rod, you're casting something that's four or five or six ounces. Sure. It's going to cast fine regardless. No problem. So, you know, it's not going to cast a sardine as well because not as much of the rod's going to load. But you're casting something so heavy, it's not going to make a – it's not going to – you know, you wouldn't notice that it, you, you know they're not casting as good. I really like for that thing. The only thing is they're just kind of hard to get right now. They're hard to get. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that particular one, they don't make a ton of them, and Cal Stars are just highly sought after, and the, the demand is higher than the supply. So that would be the only downside to it. Gotcha. All right. Hey, Don, nice to hear from you. And by the way, your name was talked about on the Shogun quite a bit this week with uh, – Dave and Eddie and Cheer, uh, everybody missed you, including me, for sure. <laughs> That's good. Well, I, I, I tried. It just didn't work out. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Well, have great time on your searcher trip, and uh, thanks for calling this morning. Take care, Don. When we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way, more of your phone calls and more great information. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Hello, everybody. This is Bill Batson from Batson Enterprises, home of the world-famous Alps Rain Shadow Rod Building Product Lines. Just want to let everybody know that I will be attending the Fisherman's Landing Tackle Day Sale November 5th from 9 to 3. We're down there to display a lot of our popular SoCal products. We're going to have a tent. We're going to have some catalogs, some free hats, decals, a rod rack with some custom rod displays on it. We'll also be doing some demos for making the rail rod grips. He's very popular. And to show you the correct way to install the rail dog grip and also we're going to do a demo for a two layer cork tape with cold shrink and doing a lot of other different things we'll also have a free raffle for a custom rain channel rail rod so come on down join the batson family and team be looking for us at the fisherman's landing tackle day sale if you're not able to make it to the tackle days down in fisherman's landing please visit our website at www.batsonenterprises.com Aloha, fish on. Don't be the last one to get one, especially now. The new Brutus Pacific Pro from Ace Line Hauler. You can catch more lobster and pull deeper with the Ace Line Hauler, so you can get those bugs in the boat. Easy to store and low power draw. The Ace Line Hauler is the highest quality and certainly the best on the market. Just ask a friend that has one. Get the new Brutus Pacific Pro by Ace Line Hauler today. Buy now at better fishing stores near you. Saturday, November 5th, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego, and it's our largest sale ever. Plenty of seminars by saltwater experts, over 20 reps from tackle manufacturers like Shimano. Come check out the Shimano Talica, the pinnacle of lever drag two-speed reel. When throwing jigs, the Shimano Trinidad is your top choice. With extreme cranking power and Shimano's super free spool for the best ever tackle bargains, check out Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday, November 5th. Great fishing is what Seaforth Sports Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, Elgato Doe, Pride, Polaris Supreme, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. For charters or schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. It's time for the Power Pro 30 Second Seminar. I like catching big fish and I like smaller reels too. How do I make sure that I have the capacity to land the big one? I fill my reels with Power Pro Max Quattro. It's 25% thinner than standard Power Pro, so you get more line on that small reel. Power Pro has a complete series of highly effective lines, including the brand new Power Pro Depth Hunter Offshore with different colors every hundred feet. Perfect for flat fall fishing. Want to learn more? Check PowerPro.com. Welcome! Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Having a great time this morning. And man, we got a special bonus. We're going live on the water right now. Captain Mike Pritchard from the Tribute is on the line. Good morning, Mike. Hey, good morning, guys. Is he on the boat? <laughs> no, I am not. I am on a freeway. <laughs> <laughs> Roger. Right, well, he's still live, anyways. <laughs> yeah, I am live. Yeah. I, yes, that, that was last week. 
Uh, I uh, haven't talked to Tyler yet this morning, but our last trip that got in yesterday, very, very good. Fishing once again, we had a lot of load, um, 12 anglers. We had limits of yellowtail, we had a handful of dorado, a handful of yellowtail, and a bluefin. Uh, great, great fishing continues, uh, whether it's out west or down the beach. Man, that yellowfin has been an awesome shot in the arm, and you know it's kind of the thing that you expect to. Ex- we expected to happen a little earlier. You know that's pretty typical of our fall, and there hasn't been a ton around. And and uh, how fun to have that, you know, as the uh, as the added lineup in in our fall fishing right now, Mike. And it sounds like there's been some really good scores on that fish, huh? There, there has it's it's when it, when it's fighting, it sounds like it's about as good as it gets, and. You know, I, uh, last time I was on the show, we were talking about how far the season stretched lately, and our best yellowfin fishing last year was December. So it's, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a sign of the times, but there's also some really good bluefin to be fi- uh, fishing to be had in that area. Um, I, I think Jason on the uh, uh, last weekend on the Pegasus had limits of yellowfin and I think darn near limits of bluefin. So. There is some really good uh, bluefin fishing to be had in that general vicinity, too. So it's it's good. I mean, I, I know several boats last weekend that uh, mentioned that it was the best yellowfin fishing they've seen in a long time. That's great news. How fun. That's great. Well, if somebody wants to get aboard the Tribute, do uh, you have some spots available to get out there? We are going tomorrow night. It's a Pizza Port-sponsored trip. Very light load. Once again, uh, I think there's only about 10 people here booked so far. Uh, weather is going to be nice. We are going to get some midweek weather. We did already cancel uh, Tuesday night's trip, but tomorrow night, day and a half, Pizza Port sponsored, half off uh, Pizza Port beer and free pizza uh, at the dock. So 619-224-3383. You can book through seaforthlanding.com, tributesportfishing.com, and always take a look at our social media, which is Tribute Sport Fishing. Yeah, nice weather That's window awesome. here for yeah. that trip for sure. So get out and go fishing and it's, enjoy some free pizza and half price beer. It sounds like fun to me. <laughs> Count me in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, a, a little sashimi for your Halloween doesn't sound all that bad. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Thanks, Mike. Nice to hear from you. Appreciate all your live reports. It's great. So uh, talk to you real soon. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. All right. Hey, I had a great text come through. Uh, this one, uh, th- this is like similar to so many texts that we've already had this morning, and it's just a testament to the team at Searcher. Uh, it says, Good morning, Captain Art and gang. I've been on the Searcher twice this year and recently on my first long range trip earlier in the month. I got my first Wahoo. It's the fish I've been wanting to check off my bucket list. 14 passengers on a 90 foot boat. You just can't beat the experience. Thanks for everything that you, Celia, Aaron, and the crew do. That's from Rico uh, from San Diego. Oh, thank you, Rico. And, I mean, that's one of 30 texts this morning that are all that way. Just yeah. like, hey, man, I ride the boat a bunch. I love it. You know, Pop so-and-so. Yeah, it's just, a, it's just a testament to what you guys do. Yeah. Keep thank it up, Art. Thank you very Art. much. Yeah. Thank you very much. For sure. Hey, let's go ahead and jump into the phones. They're jam-packed. They want to cap- talk to Captain Art. Gary, the Iron Man in Lawndale, is up next on Let's Talk Cookup. Good morning, Gary. Welcome to the show. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Captain Art, I was on the... Uh, Let's talk hookup trip number twenty six, and all all you say is true. What you need to get, what you need to do, all that stuff. It's a comfortable ride, a, prof- a professional crew, and the cedar plugs was a hot trolling jig. Uh, the key the key to finishing one of your wonderful trips, I believe, is a fisherman's processing reservation. Without that. You're just having trouble. Uh, and also, I For wanted to sure. say, the Dorado, they take a great picture. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, they Colorful. Do. Yeah, for sure. Now, yeah, you've got to make your processing reservations and fishermen's processing. I'm just, those guys, Sean and Melanie and their crew there, I mean, I, yeah, I had a new appreciation for <laughs> how hard they work. And it's like... You know, five, if we returned to the dock yesterday at 5.30 a.m., you know, it's pretty chilly yesterday morning. Sure. And, I mean, just offloading the fish and stuff like that. And the nice thing is when, when you use fisherman's processing, it, you don't have to touch your fish, right? They take care of everything. But it's like those guys work so hard. And it's like I turn to Sean. It's like, you do this every day? And he goes, every day. <laughs> It's amazing. So hats off to the processors and 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 yeah, they're, processing. Yeah, they're doing a great job. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, you make a reservation on a fishing trip. I don't care what boat you're going on. Make a, as soon as you get off the phone, 
with uh, your reservation on a boat, you have to pick up the phone and call a processor and yeah. make a reservation. And then the next call is trip insurance. Yes, call Bob trip Dawson, insurance. right? Yeah, you got to have trip insurance because, you know, we talked about wait lists and stuff happens. And if you have trip insurance, then, um, you know, you're not going to lose your deposit. Yeah, yes. you're so right about that. Because there's those last-minute cancellations that are within the – the time frame to get your deposit back, and you got to have trip insurance. That's yeah. all there is to it. And, and the bottom line is, when you're dealing in this world today, and everything's sold out and stuff like that, if you don't have your trip insurance, you're not getting your deposit back. No, you're not. No, yeah, that's, that's just correct. That's just uh, times have changed. Yeah, yeah. Just, right. Yeah, for sure. Hey, uh, thanks a lot for the call. Appreciate that very much. i got a great text here from Charles in Delmar. He says, I'm 15 years old and looking forward to my first long-range trip for my birthday. I got an SKB long-range tackle box that has four rocket launchers on it and would be allowed to. Would I be allowed to leave my rods in the rocket launchers while on the trip? Yeah, you would, but it's just a weather thing, you know. Um, you don't want to... Uh you know, make the center of gravity on your tackle box higher because you have four heavy outfits in there. So, you know, it's weather permitting. And, yeah. But, yeah, you can. But one thing I, I will say, and another thing I forgot on this Shogun trip, was bring some line, like some tuna cord or some kind of cord to tie it down yeah. uh, wherever you are. And thank you, Ying. Ying Lee for, for for tying my box down because like, good job, know, Ying. I haven't been on a long range trip in like three years, so I was like so out of it, right? I mean, I but all these guys, you know, Ying and John and and, and all these guys they cheer and stuff. They're like they're like do it all the time, so it's like they got the system down. So I I needed a lot of help. I can tell you that. So I I, I use an SKB box also, and like one of the fun things about those boxes is like all of the garage fab, you know, that a guy does to. You whatever trick it out or make it easier for the boat and um so on those rocket launchers that they come with i just took a piece of like 400 pound mono and just made a loop that's maybe like the size of a quarter and just crimped it together in the top of all those rod holders there's a hole drilled in it and that hole is just drilled so that you can screw it into the box so i have a, a little ring of mono on all four of those rod holders that gives you like a really nice anchoring point that you can tie down it's not you know it's not so big you don't want to necessarily run your tuna cord through there because if you got a big butt section then it takes up some of the room from fitting in your rocket launcher but so it just gives you like a nice uh you know, a nice anchor point to tie the box down to the rack yeah. if, if you need to. And those has, and, and and Charles, those SKB boxes are very very nice. Oh, I, I love really them. Yeah. nice. I I use for the first time on on a tri- on a long range trip because I haven't been a long time is the G the Gamakatsu G oh, box. Yeah, G seven thousand. I really liked it. Yeah. It has one rocket launcher uh-huh. on it, and that is all I need. I just need one that easy access right there. I don't need four or something like that. I mean, I have stuff in the rack, and I can just. Put yeah, one the in the rod, rod holder, using. and that's it. Yeah, that's cool. Um, but that G box is easy because easy access. The, the both side lids, uh, so no matter which way it faces, it opens up. Uh, waterproof, uh, super durable, and ho- held all the boxes. So I, I, I really like that G box. That's a cool one because it's very modular. You know, mm-hmm. like you can kind of snap in different pieces mm-hmm. that you want if yep. you want. You know, whether it's like you say, whether it's rocket launchers or if you don't want that, or or inserts, or yeah, just however it's it's very like a mold to how you want it to be and the other thing is as an empty box it weighs nothing yeah that's true so well, whatever you put in in it is basically so it's super light it doesn't become one of these which is not the case with an SKB. Pound box, yeah. right an skb is heavy, heavy. I, i've got the yeah. smallest one the 7000 and even that weighs a ton like yeah. you put your stuff in there it, it's all yeah that's a good point but bring some line to tie it down right Art? <laughs> yeah yeah and you know don't forget i mean Holy cow, I, you might have to walk 30 yes. or 40 steps <laughs> yeah, it, up the side to get another rod, you yeah. know, God forbid. <laughs> you know, Dude, I mean you don't you're have to have one of my pet you don't, right you don't now. have to have your rocket launcher full of rods, you nope. know, it's it is maybe, you know, 40 steps <laughs> up the rail to get another rod, uh, yeah. you know. 40 steps if you're the farthest away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And, and okay, so why you brought that up, the other thing that 
just drives me nuts is guys leaving their rods at the bait tank along, in the like trash guys, can in the trash yeah. can lock it's like come on out guys, of the workspace really yeah that lazy not to go yeah your stuff you, back yeah in there? walk 25, yeah, 25 steps feet. up the side yeah. there to put your rod away steve yep. Can't Goner, have it. steve uh, who's one of the crew members on the shogun has you know Goner's pet peeves he wants to come on the show and talk about different stuff and that's one of them, but that's one of my pets. Uh, what, what, what's grinding Steve's gears? <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, for sure. The show's not long enough. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to have a weekly segment every week. Yeah. What's pissing off Steve today? <laughs> hey, when we come back, we got a lot more. Let's talk. Uh, Coming come in your way. More of your phone calls, more great info, and more with Captain Art from The Searcher. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. If you're into saltwater fishing, listen to this. Saturday, November 5th, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Hi, this is Doug Kern. We are pulling out all the stops on this one. Over 20 tackle manufacturers reps like Shimano and PowerPro. Check out all the Shimano and PowerPro product we have and talk to the Shimano and PowerPro guys about the best rod and reel for your trip. Back by popular demand, the Shimano Tranks Casting Contest. Cast a Shimano Tranks 500 and a Shimano Terramar 90H rod and show your surface iron casting skill. You'll see the perfect rod to handle tough fish is Terramar from Shimano. The secret? TC4 blank construction. Match your Shimano Terramar rod with a Shimano Tranks 500 reel. The X-Ship and HEG technologies combine to provide massive cranking power with a smooth and effortless retrieve. It's our biggest sale of the year Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing. Unbelievable pricing on tackle, clothing, accessories and more. Saturday, November 5th. All of us at the American Angler family want to express appreciation to our regular passengers that fish with us year after year and to the new anglers that came out this last season. We realize how precious your vacation time is, and we are truly grateful that you have chosen to spend this time with us. It's important that your experience is memorable from the moment you call the office to the time you step off the boat. Hi, I'm Lori. Call me at the office, 619-223-5414, or check us out at AmericanAnglerSportFishing.com. Come fishing with the American Angler family and make a memory. Everyone is always looking for the new hot lure. You know, the ones that are really putting fish on the boat. Right now, the bluefin tuna bite is on. And the Shimano Pop Orca and Pop Orca Slim are getting the job done. The Pop Orca features Shimano's unique bubble chamber, an open mouth design based on how a jet engine turns low pressure into high pressure. The bubble chamber forces water through the chamber and shoots it out of the top of the lure to create more commotion than conventional popper style lures. This unique design makes Pop Orca and Pop Orca Slim much easier to work with than conventional poppers. With through wire construction and high tensile strength hooks, Shimano's Pop Orcas can stand up to large bluefin tuna. Plus, Shimano's Jet Boost technology helps anglers increase casting distance so you can reach the foamer easier. The Shimano Pop Orca and Pop Orca Slim. Get them now at your local Shimano dealer. Dana Landing in Mission Bay is the one-stop shop for a great day on the water. This is Mia. Come see me and our expert staff for everything you need for your next fishing trip, food, bait, tackle, beverages, and more. Our tackle shop is certainly one of San Diego's finest. We have you covered from bay bass to big tuna and people that can help you get set up right. We also have Dougie, one of the best reel repair guys around. Need freshwater tackle? Head to East County Bait and Tackle, the best rods and reels, the hottest freshwater lures, and live bait. ECBT has an amazing staff who love to share their passion for fishing. We now also have Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle, both fresh and saltwater tackle, right in the heart of Lemon Grove. ECBT is at the end of the 67 Freeway on Maple View and Lakeside. Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle take 94 to Broadway and Lemon Grove. And Dana Landing is right next to the Dana Lawn Tramp in Mission Bay. Check danalanding.com for more details. I got a garage full of fishing tackle, and every time I get out on the water, I realize I forgot something important. But I never forget my life jacket. I make sure my buddies wear theirs, too. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. 